Our second outstanding teacher and mentor award, award recipient is Jim Root. If you were an outstanding mentor, what characteristics might you demonstrate? The students and staff at Adrian High School shared a few thoughts about their custodian, Jim Rubley. He comes in ready for the day in a joyful mood and makes sure to interact with the students. He always has something interesting to tell you and never comes to school with a bad attitude. He makes an effort to take time out of his busy schedule and set aside his work to help a kid who is struggling. Jim has impacted our lives to show that giving more than what is required is really important. Michelle Paulson, an Adrian High School teacher of cognitively impaired students, says Jim likes to work with the students on an individual basis when he has a job to do in the cafeteria. He teaches them the correct way to work in our school community. She also wrote, Jim has been a good advocate for my students. He assisted in lining up countless vocational opportunities for my students. Jim gets to be a true friend with my students and brightens their day when they get to talk to him about things they have done. He is a great sounding board of advice for students who lack positive male role models in their lives. He jokes around with the kids and makes them feel like they can do anything if they just try. Jim Rubley, a 1980 graduate of Adrian High School, currently is a painter with the APS maintenance crew. He was hired by APS in 2001 as a substitute custodian and hired permanently in 2003 at McKinley Elementary. Over the years, he was appointed to temporary assignments which took him to the grounds department and the high school before becoming a permanent custodian and pool operator at the high school in 2004. From then until now, Jim has served in many other custodial capacities, including head custodian on the night shift. When Jim learned he was going to leave the high school, some students started a petition drive to keep him at Adrian High School. They were going to miss him. One morning, Jim came up to us because we talked to him all the time, and he told us that he was actually leaving to take another job, and it was a different shift. And so, me and Brooklyn wanted to make a change, kind of, to see if he could hold his job, and we started a petition. <laughs> and it was to see how many kids, like, really knew who Jim was and acknowledged, like, his doings in our school. And we actually got quite a few students. Yeah, a lot. We actually. got over 100, I believe. And so it actually didn't go through, but um, it just showed that our school really did care who he was, and he really, he was an important person to us. Fabian, an Adrian High School student, tells a cute story that demonstrates Jim's relationship with the students. He wrote, when I was doing signups for the blood drive at lunch, I saw some outstanding things from Mr. Rubley. He was interacting with each one of Mrs. Paulson's students, laughing and joking around, all the while getting his job done as custodian. One day, Jim and a student were taking out trash, and when they came back inside, the student noticed that his shoes squeaked from the wet ground. The two of them walked over to the lunch ladies and started dancing together, laughing while they were squeaking their shoes. Fabian added, some would say that Jim is just a janitor, but they are the ones who have had little interaction with him. Others would say he is a mentor, someone they can go and talk to about anything because of the many things he has in common with them. I think he was really an influential person, not just as a janitor, but he was more of a mentor to us. Um, I mean, he had so many traits that he would share to us. Um, he would just come in, welcome every student. He always had a smile on his face, and you know, he never had a down day. He was just always there for every student. I mean, he would always tell us about himself. Um, like, do you remember that one morning that he told us about his everyday schedule? Yeah, he would wake up super early and go out and feed his horses and then come right to the school super early and be here before he even started. And always was like kind to the kids and like, if you're down, he would come and see and see if you're okay or how you're doing and always make sure he would like talk to like most students at the school. Yeah, and even though he woke up so early every morning, um, you would never hear him complain. He just enjoyed his job and he enjoyed the environment. He just like brightened up our school. Jim related why he loves working with the kids. It's easy to relate to these kids because I have tons of nieces and nephews. Since the kids don't see me as an authority figure, they find it easier to approach me. Some of these kids just need someone to listen to them and steer them in the right direction. He also added, when you love your work, you're happy. Your happiness is contagious, Jim. Jim is married to Colette and they raised three nieces and nephew after his brother and sister-in-law were killed in a car accident when their children were quite young. I definitely do believe that Jim, you totally do deserve this award. Um, you have really inspired many people and out of everybody, 
I do believe that you have impacted us the most. So yeah, once again, congratulations, Jim, and thank you for making our high school experience great. Congratulations, Jim, on being selected one of Adrian Public Schools' outstanding teachers and mentors. Please come forward and accept your award. Thank you, everybody. Hunter Brooks, they didn't show him doing the worm, though. And I didn't ask him to do that. And, and first, I want to thank the students. Too. These guys are awesome here at the school, and all the schools, period. Working with them is a, truly a treat, and it does make my day more enjoyable, even though some messes might not be as enjoyable, <laughs> but overall, it was really good. And so I want to thank the students first, so uh, thank you. Uh, my job's taken me all over the district. I've been in most all the schools. I've worked with a lot of the teachers and administrators. And everybody's always treated me with open arms and wonderful. And I want to thank you guys for that. You make it makes it coming to work worth my time and while. And I'm not much of a speak person, so uh, I want to thank the uh, Adrian High School Educational Foundation <laughs> for putting this on. It was truly when I was. In, uh, when Lisa Wilkie called me and told me about the award, I was just, just floored. I said, what? And I said, I'm supposed to be setting these things up and cleaning up after you guys, not being on the stage. I'm out of my realm. I'm on my way out. So I want to thank you. And the High School Alumni Association, I was a 1980 graduate which my mom was very surprised that I did graduate. <laughs> I made it. But again, I want to thank everybody, um, my, my fellow work, uh, workers that I work with, the maintenance man, the custodians here. We, we, try, we try to make our buildings look nice and to do what we can for the, the students, make sure they got a safe, clean learning environment to learn. And before I'm off, I wanted to tell a story, a true story. Which one, babe, snowing or Legos? What is the snowing? I was at an elementary school, and I was walking down the hallway. We had a substitute teacher. I'm not saying what school. I'm not saying what teacher. She was outside her classroom door talking to another teacher. I just happened to be walking by. I looked inside the room, and I was overwhelmed. It was snow in the middle of May. And I tapped the teacher on the shoulder, excuse me, ma'am, you need to look in your classroom. She looked, oh my gosh. The kids found a beanbag chair <laughs> with a hole and them little plastic peanuts <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and she goes, oh, what am I going to do? I said, that's OK. Is it time for recess? <laughs> Not for another half hour. I said, maybe a little sooner. <laughs> so I got my vacuum. And then as she was lining the kids up to go out to recess, she had them like this. I'm vacuuming. <laughs> but then when so I was blessed to, to see a lot of the young kids and then I was at a lot of the elementaries then when I got up to the high school there they are young adults <laughs> and then some still remembered me which was very cool and now I got great nieces great nephews and soon to be a granddaughter coming to Adrian School, and so I'm, your teachers are going to have your hands full. <laughs> so well, then again, I want to thank everybody. It's truly, you guys floored me. I'm way out of my room. It's, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. So thank you very much, and everybody have a good night. <laughs>